better tonight than they did when we played them up in Logan a month ago. Uh, but our, our, our struggles are obvious to anybody watching us. We, we are in about a three or four week stretch where we simply can't string together jump shots. We, don't, we, we rarely hit two in a row and we go through long stretches. I think the end of the first half we went one for our last 17. And no matter how hard we play on defense, and I think we are playing hard on defense, and no matter how much we hustle and do all the little things right, you cannot win basketball games when you have brutal shooting stretches like that. Our guys are working on it. They're showing up for extra reps. You know, we could say, well, it's a psychological issue. Well, gosh, you're college basketball players. You got you to buck your way through that. And so we're, we're going to keep working at it and keep working our best to get, get past that. But it's, it's definitely done the damage over the last four weeks. We, we, we haven't had one game in the 40s over the last four weeks. And it's really hard to win a college basketball game shooting in the 20s and, and low 30s like we've been doing consistently. Obviously, the, the struggles kind of correlate with, with James Kenny being gone, and um, you know, what, what can you say about about that, and just well, what what this how it changes this team? Well, losing James and James is now suspended for the remainder of the year. Uh, losing James obviously was a huge blow to our team. Um, can't dispute that. Can't deny that. Uh, we were nine and six the last game he played. He was a ninth leading scorer in the country when he stopped playing. So. That was a huge hole, and we haven't been able to find a way to patch that hole. That's that's the honest goodness truth. And what's going on with Alex Brown? He hasn't started in lately. Oh, we, there's nothing going on with Alex Brown. We, we've we've changed our lineup the last four games with a different starting lineup. So don't read anything into the starting lineup. Alex is fine, and he's doing well. What, what, how do you approach the last uh, few weeks of this season, and what? What, what kind of a mode are you in to, to try to you know, salvage some uh, some of the season? Well, the, the mode the mode that we always adopt, whether we're succeeding or not succeeding, is what's next. The next practice, the next scouting meeting, the next film preparation, and you concentrate on what's right in front of you. You can't worry about what's going to happen a month from now. Um, but we know we know that the, the the truth of college basketball is this. A team can make or break their season in four days in March. And so we still have that in our minds as a motivator, that we, are, we have a chance like everybody else. And there are some things we need to fix, most notably our shooting, prior to that, or we're not going to have a chance there either. But that's our mode. One day at a time, work on what we're not doing well, keep true to our values and our principles, and keep going forward. That's all we can do. Other than James' production, have you seen his absence? Has that affected the players in any way? Of it, you know, the way they're no question. Going? It's affected our team in powerful ways. How, how do you see other players affected by not having him out there? Well, when you have a player who's an elite scorer, the game gets easier for everybody else. And now the game's harder on everybody. James is also a senior, who's had success really at Division One. So that's another fact. Um, and I think those are the, the primary things. But, you know, when Utah State has bounced back now, obviously, but when they lost Medlin, they lost their next four games. I don't remember the last time Utah State lost four games. Anymore. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to impact you. You can't, you know, I, I mean, I like to pretend like you just – you know, coaches are fond of saying we're going to coach the guys we have, and that's what I'm doing. What else? I have no choice. But you, you can't ignore the, the elephant in the room. I mean, it's obvious because it doesn't take much for people to look and say, hmm, when did they start struggling? Oh, okay. And you just put the two and two together, and you, you get forward. You good, Lawrence? Yeah. Very good. Thank you.